Hey guys, so it's a new month and it's time to predict the results for Wrexham for an upcoming month. Obviously it's going to it's been on the back of fantastic February where, you know, six wins, one draw, and obviously, you know, that defeat to Sheffield United, but it's left us in the, you know, the overall month has left us in a very good position now, top of the table, ahead of Notts County, and hopefully this is the month that Wrexham can, you know, push ahead and you know, get a bit of ground going into the last month of the season. So this month we've got five games. So obviously a little bit less than last month, so perhaps not so as intense. So hopefully we can get some players come back from injury. But you know, starting off the month on the fourth on BT Sport Live, we're away at Maidenhead. Now, Maidenhead, they're a bit of a they're always a bit of a tricky, tricky opponent. Happen Devonshire has a bit of a knack for beating some of the bigger bigger teams. It, it, obviously, you'd say Wrexham informed team going to Maidenhead should really win. But then we look at Mayhem's recent fixtures, they won three in the spin. They've beaten Yeovil at home, and then won away to Halifax, and then beating Dagenham at home. You know, those are, those are good performances, but then they've had the previous two games that they did lose at Eastleigh, and lost at home to Southend, to obviously more quality opposition. So it could be a case of Mayhem uh, you know, this season are being better against you know their, the teams low on the table, and you know, struggling, against the more, struggling against the better equipped side. So in terms of this one, it's a tough ask between a draw and a win, but I, I'm going to say Wrexham are going to win this one. Wrexham will, will, will beat Maidenhead. I think it'll be a tough one, be a close affair, but I think we'll get the win. Then moving on to that, we've got Dagenham away. Now Dagenham, well, obviously they had that shock result you know, where they beat Notts County away and were a really defensive rearguard performance and got some good calls to keep themselves, to help them get that win in the end. But then obviously they followed it up with you know defeat to Maidenhead on Saturday, so could you say they were a bit tired from that, or had they reverted back to their usual performances? You know, according to their fans, it seems like they went back to usual. When they going away from home, you know, they can be afford to be a bit more defensive at home. You'd think they'd expect to be a bit, bit more, a bit more attacking. But again, for this one, I'm, I'm thinking a victory now. Interesting for this fixture, Notts County aren't actually playing, so. If we were to win both games and you know, ignoring Notts County's result, you know, Wrexham could extend the lead to four points with having played the game in hand. Though I thought the game in hand was against Yeovil in April, so I'm not quite sure why Notts County aren't playing. It's That's a little bit of a surprise. And then following it up, our last you know, Saturday, the Tuesday game, is home against Southend. Now, obviously, you know, Southend have very recently come through the HMRC court winding up case. They're no longer be wound up. And obviously now they're you know, seventh in the table. They did get a thump in at Notts County a couple of weeks ago, so that could be something you could say for them. But they do have best, I think no second best defensive record in the league. But they haven't, they have scored you know half the goals that we have, or more than half the goals. Again, I th I think we're going to win this one. I think we're just too strong at home, and we'll just blow Southend away in this one. So at the moment, I've gone for for three victories. Doesn't seem like I think Rex is going to slow down anytime soon. But I think well, Bromley is the one I'm thinking about to be the to fun. There was when we played them at home, it was a bit of a tricky tricky game, and we just were a bit slower from following the Sheffield United game. So for this one, I'm going to say that a draw. I think we'll get a, it'll be a draw against Bromley. Not don't think we'll get beaten because I don't like to think we'll get beaten because I think the only team who realistically should beat Wrexham would probably, it you know, would have been Notts County away and already played them away, I and mean, that's already happened. But I think a yeah, draw against, against Brobley is probably the more likely outcome. Hopefully it doesn't, co doesn't cause any issues with the title race, and hopefully we've got you know, a good enough gap from the, from Notts County. And then, moving on to the final game of the season, sorry, final game of the month, home against York. Now, York, bottom half, at the moment three points for the relegation zone. They have had, you know, they were sacked it's like two matches this season. Seems to be struggling with the fans as well. So I think for this one, I'm going to say we're going to we're going to win this game. We're going to beat York at home, which would then leave March with you know, four wins and a draw, which is a good return. And hopefully, we've now extended our gap over Notts County, going to April and give us a little bit of a you know nice little buffer before we play them at home. But yeah, so we have a quick also quick look at those counties fixtures and. You know, what, what, who have they got, you know, this month? So, a quick, you know, they, they've only got the four. No, they've got five as well. I think they're playing, uh, they're playing on the Tuesday after, on the, playing on a Tuesday when we're not playing. So, essentially, they're, they're playing five as well. So, probably that, you know, so not, there's no, it's not early game that we're playing against Dagon. It isn't really a game in hand because they're also playing a sort of game in hand. So, Notts County are playing Bromley away, 
Talking at home, Eastley at home, Barnet away and Scunthorpe at home. So in terms of those, definite wins, Dorking, Scunthorpe, I think they'll definitely win those. Bromley, maybe a draw, Eastleaf, probably a tight win. Barnet, well, I think they were doing better before, but they seem to be struggling now, so I think I think that'll probably be a Notts County win again. So probably, you know, so you think probably two wins and no three wins and two draws. Fingers crossed for that, so it gives us a little bit more breather. Going to the last in the game this last month of the season, but yeah, let, let me know what what you think, what what results will be this this month. Do you think we'll have a you know, bigger gap over Notts County at the end of it? And yeah, let me know any other thoughts you got. And thank if you got this far, thanks for listening. And please subscribe and chat to you soon. Thank you. Bye bye.